All right, so welcome back, guys. We're kind of in our, our fifth piece, our fifth concept, uh, as we're building on this basic idea of not getting shot, not getting stabbed as we go into it. So now we understand, uh, don't get shot, don't get stabbed. We understand distance control. We understand that we don't get to pick the angle of attack, and then we also understand that it's going to be me running or moving hastily towards this, which means on the other end of that, it's gonna look more like a jackhammer than it's gonna look like a scalpel, right, as it kind of goes into it. So now we have to start talking about inevitably the fact that maybe I'm not clear where I can get hands to the gun. So maybe the angle that was presented to me was from the back. Whether it's off of the gun side shoulder or whether it's off of the far side shoulder, concepts are concepts. So we understand that we can control the gun. We understand so far that we can control the arm that holds onto the gun. We also need to understand that we may have to learn to control the body or just initially get into the body. Now we're not gonna talk purposeful tackles yet. We will get to that. But for right now, we're talking like, I'm right here, oh shit, and I'm diving, right? I'm drawn to the upper part of the body. It's not gonna make any sense effectively for me to try to dive over his shoulders to get to this gun. By the time I get into a good position to, to hold on to anything, it's very easy for him to slide out the back door and be in a better spot than I am. It makes no sense, again, if I'm moving hastily from point A to point B, for me to try to get around his arms in some crazy way and assume that he's not simply going to react as I'm coming around to go to grab and move the freaking gun out of the way, right? So if I do have the advantage of coming from behind or coming from the side and he does not know that I'm about to hit him yet, I need to get contact with his body before he has an opportunity to do so. Generally what that's gonna look like is a big wrap up. We wanna be as aggressive as possible, we wanna hit like a tank as we go into it. So if I'm coming from the gun side, I'm going to wrap up over and I'm preferably going to catch the gun arm into this. Just like I would if I was a, a, you know, a linebacker or something like that trying to tackle through and punch the ball out of a, a football player's hand, it's kind of the same idea. I'm really looking to just wreck him as I come in and maybe, maybe, if we're lucky, the gun jars or something happens along with it. But that's not what I'm expecting to happen. But what I'm doing is as I come in, I'm wrapping that arm up with everything that I can. Now again, based off of my background, experience level, maybe I have some wrestling, some self-defense training, whatever, I might be able to then wrap this arm around the outside like a gift wrap. I might be able to get this other hand inside and go here. There's things I can do, but if I don't have a wrestling background, don't act like you're gonna figure that shit out. You have to drill it, you have to practice it, you have to know the basic concept. The concept coming from the back angle is that again, if I'm moving hastily, I'm going to look like a wrecking ball on the end of this. Big, gross motor, big, ugly. I'm smashing and slamming into him, preferably taking the gun arm with me. So I'm over top, boom, grab onto him and hold. Okay? Now, from here, if I don't get good grip and control, we're still playing. Don't get shot, don't get stabbed. So he's trying to get it. If I lose control of that gun, I'm now back into trying to control the arm, trying to control the gun. It's a fight. It's a dynamic fight. It's a freaking ugly fight. And there's a lot of variables that go into it. So I can't assume that just because I smash him from the back that the gun's gonna go flying or I'm gonna be in a good position to control. I have to be prepared to lose that fight and pick up on the next thing and adapt and adapt and adapt. So this is the next piece of the puzzle. Now you can do the same exact thing from the far side. Coming from here, maybe I don't feel confident in my ability to get to the gun. Maybe I don't feel confident in my ability to control the arms from here in, in whatever fashion I want. Maybe the angle I'm given is here. Or maybe I started to go for the gun and he started to turn away from me and now I ended up in this position as it goes. I'm getting in tight, I'm trying to control the body the best way I can. Maybe I can hook and get the far side arm, again, based off your sensitivity, your ability to figure that stuff out. But from here, maybe he again starts trying to point the gun back towards me and I've got to figure out ways that I can go and control. And if he gets to turn in and go, shit, I've got to control the gun that way. I'm trying to collect, I'm trying to get into pieces where I can control a lot better based off my skill set. But we're not giving them specific things to do, we're giving them basic concepts and places to start to learn from and adapt from, right? So again, just building and building and building and building. I'll see you guys back for the next one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, she had three weeks one last night. Yeah, she knew it was a gun. No, it's professional. I can't put bloopers on the front of this one. This is like supposed to be a serious thing. Damn it. It was so good. Yeah. <laughs>